basically I just give the variables which were which we can which we see, uh, have seen in this file so there is a name there is an ilum which is an integer there is free floats for the diffuse ambient specular light uh, this is I think this is the emit we don't emit light for now so yes we don't use that and NF we just read it, uh, read it and uh, the body uh, so uh, the texture okay so we need a name I use the std uh, string for that so call it name and there is a float there is the alpha which uh, which is actually uh, the d value there is no actually in here but uh, there is other files okay and ns ni okay and uh, we need free float variables for the ambient diffuse and specular light so float call it diffuse with free element call ambient with free element and specular with free element Alright, we need that illum which we will not use but load it just in case. So call it illum and we need a texture. So in texture, this will be the number which is returned by the load texture function. It is actually one, uh, so it is actually minus one if there is no texture. So we can later use this to determine is the retexture or not. All right, and uh, we need a constructor, and we will finish. So constructor material. Okay, we will make the constructor in the object loader, the CPP. Uh, basically, just set all of these variables to the given variables, so not too interesting. And we need something called text chord, which will which will contain the texture coordinate. So struct text chord. And this will contain two floats. So float U V. Uh, traditionally, these are called U V textures. I think OpenGL call it F and T. Uh, <coughs> I call it U V because these are the U V textures, right? And I make a constructor, so a text core, and this will be an int A and oh, not int float. Float A and float B simple enough uh, we make the constructor actual definition in the uh, object loader .cpp file basically just set the u to a and the v to b okay and i think we are finished with with, with this file for now so let's go to the object loader .cpp and continue what we did earlier first of all made make the constructor so material met Material. Okay, and it needs a lot of variable, basically everything in the material uh, class. So it needs, uh, actually we can use const char and convert it to a string. Okay, and we need free float, free float pointer. So const char and a like name. We need free float, so float, I just call f1 float f2 float f3 oh we should give a little bit uh, so i use a n and n i a n and n i 2 so i just don't use the same name because then i we, we have to use the this uh, to def determine which one is that okay we need free float pointer because we just give the pointer to the first element so float and I call it diff diffuse float and I call it ambient and another float and I call it specular okay which it, we, we need an int and another int so int i int i and uh, int t okay I hope I didn't give the same name to thing and that's about it so we just need to set everything to the correct value okay so make the name equal to na make the what this a was alpha so the alpha 
to A. Okay, we gone through the contractor. This is a long contractor and a boring contractor. So the next contractor is the texture coordinate, which will be less uh, long. So text chord colon colon text chord and this way the float A and float B. Okay and uh, and yes I just said the U equal to A and B oh so V equal to B. That's about it. We have this constructor too. So we are making progress. Now we actually need mm, a few things so define a few new variables in a moment. So first of all I will rewrite this uh, face loader because that could give a little bit of if a little bit of problem so go to the face loader and as you can see or maybe you remember we use this two slash to to four slash to first read the the number of the face or so the index of the vertex so yes index of the vertex and then two slash and the index of the normal although if there is no normal then this whole section is not exist so there is just three number three or four number but there is no slash in it at all so if there is a uh, texture coordinate there is just uh, a number then slash a number a slash the and the number for one vertex uh, I just realized it uh, I just put it into the class so the name is load and this is inside the obj loader class okay so this will be the load function so in here I just use the find in the uh, string so I can find if there is two vertex one vertex or uh, or there is a texture coordinate too Okay, so in here, I just run a search to uh, get what which one is that. So in here, in the quads, I run a search. So if if court i, and I use the find member function, the find member function will just uh, search the the given string substring, and if it is find the correct match, then it will re return the number. Uh, of where it is start as it will return a uh, constant the std string n post which is the maximum posi uh, position position which, uh, which a string can be which a string can store at max so we will search the slash slash so to slash and uh, if it is not equal to std string n post so basically we tell that if it is find a two slash uh, then we will run this whatever in here so there is no change in here so we will run that actually there is a little change because the constructor is different I just realized I forget an important change in the faces we have to add a few more variables like the texture coordinates and the current material so I use the int text chord and we need four, four quads, three obviously, four triangles and uh, we need a material. Actually similarly to the faces, these are just indexes to the uh, texture coordinate and the material which is needed. The actual uh, values of the texture and materials are stored in the material and text, uh, text chord structure and uh, it is stored obviously in a vector okay so these changes I forget and this will change a little bit the constructor too so so I just simple add free in case of the triangle a new uh, parameter so int t1 like texture coordinate 1 in t2 and int t3 okay and another one in material uh, call it call it M just simple and in case of uh, a quad you uh, we add one more texture coordinate so int t3 
and one more thing I want to mention although pro uh, probably some of you, you it is obvious in case of tax cord uh, you cannot uh, this is the same as the GL tax cord 2s so these store the same values that we pass to this function and actually obviously it can't just be whole numbers it can be floats that's why we store float for example for if you pre uh, pass 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 to one coordinate that will be the center of the image okay I just want to tell you that to make sure you understand that so if we uh, change the face actually we worked on that so in here uh, as I said we have to change a little bit the the uh, constructor uh, because uh, we don't have uh, texture coordinates that just pre uh, pass zero it actually not matter which you pre pass because uh, you will not use it and for the material uh, you uh, we will p uh, pass the the current mat for the material I create a new variable so in here so every function every, uh, so uh, everything can access it I call it curl mat and I initialize it zero. This is the current material. Whenever there is some use MTL, so use material, we just change the current material to uh, to the current material, obviously. And uh, I just p uh, pass it here. So I just pass curmat to this constructor. Okay, there we go. We finished the uh, uh, one. So the simplest one, which contains uh, the face number and the normal vector but doesn't contain texture coordinate now make an else if and this one e is what contains bo uh, all of them uh, so it contains texture coordinate and it contains the face number and normal vectors so I just search uh, on this so I use the same searching uh, except in this case just one slash so if it is not the two slash, so it is n uh, there is no two slash in it, then I search the one slash. So yes. In this case, we need a new uh, variable. So int t three, actually an uh, uh, entire array, and I just copy it to save a little bit of time. Okay, so I copy it here. Okay, the only change is that it uh, will be free integer number. So an integer, which is the number of the face, and then a slash, which is uh, which then follow the texture coordinate, and then another uh, slash, and it is followed by the uh, normal. So actually, the number of the face. It is the number of the vertex. Sorry. So yes, I do the same in here and in here and in here okay so yes, uh, <coughs> and I put the address of the T0 here and, and uh, for the okay I put the T1 uh, in here so T1 and then I put the T2 in here and that's all so basically all I did is uh, read the the T array, the texture coordinates, and then I just give this to the constructor. So instead of zeros I use the T0 and the T1 and uh, finally the T2. Okay, and rewrite it to T uh, instead of TR. Alright, so that was pretty simple and we have to make an as statement. This is the last state when the numbers are placed like that. So one, two, three, without any slash. Okay. So in here there is just three uh, integer numbers. So it will it will be pretty simple. Anyway, I copy it to save a little bit of time. So an integer, another integer, another integer, and uh, we don't need that other integers. Wait a little bit oh four integer because uh, this is uh, and the uh, polygon so yes this is the quad so we need four uh, vertex 
ok and simple I just read it to A, D, C and D ok and uh,